Woo! Welcome, welcome again to Dream Venture. Welcome to my channel from your born to the from South Africa. Um, thank you so much for tuning by. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. If it's your first time, thank you so much for watching this video and please hit the subscribe button and the bell button so that whenever I post more videos, you get the notification and you get to watch the video first. Now today I have a very very interesting topic. I'm very I'm, I'm actually very much excited about this. Um, it's been something that I've always wanted to make a video about, especially after the Asia I've attended, um, the Rand Asia 2023 which I attended a few weeks ago. So I just want to weigh in on the issues that I've attended this year, the ones I've missed and the ones that are yet to come, even though um, the one that is yet to come this year is also the one that uh, I think I'm also going to miss. But there's an upcoming issue in 2024, which whew, it's, it's a must that I attended. And believe me, I know it's still too far, but it's, it's worth the wait, trust me, it, it's, it, it is really worth it. So the, the first Asia that I attended this year was one that was hosted by the South African um, National Defense Force uh, in collaboration with the Air Force. It was held in Pretoria and uh, it was just okay. It was just okay. Compared to previous air shows by the SA Air Force, I think they can still do better. Yeah, it was just, it was just an air show, guys. Come on. Like, there was literally nothing special about it. Um, and then the following air show that I attended was the Rand Air Show, the one, I, the one I was talking about. It was held in at the Rand Airport uh, just a few weeks ago. It was also okay, but I think um, the SA Air Force Air Show was much better than the Rand Air Show. Um, also compared to previous air shows um, by the Rand Airport, I think they can also do better. Uh, but I think the highlight of the air shows in 2023 has to be the France Air Show, uh, oh, oh, oh. the Paris Air Show that took place in France, 2023. I think that that was the best, and I think it's the best Air Show in 2023. And also, Air that are still going to come in 2023 are, are not going to meet uh, the Paris Air Show 2023 standards. I think that was the benchmark of Air Shows, uh, maybe in, in the past five years. I've never seen such an exciting, exhilarating, amazing air show like the Paris 2023 air show. It's a it's a pity I couldn't uh, attend it, but I, I I saw a lot of videos of, uh, of the Paris air show, and I also posted quite a few shots on my YouTube channel, you know, um, because <laughs> it was thrilling. It was amazing. Everything was wow, it was on point. Um, yeah, that was it. And then the upcoming air show that is coming in 2024 is one that no one has to miss it's the aad um the last aad was hosted in 2022 so they what they do is they host an air show um, on a particular year then they skip another year to host it uh, on the following year so the last air show the last aad was in 2022 and it was in collaboration with the um, united states air force um they brought their oh their big guns you know they brought their machines um it was the best air show i think the aad uh, does compete with the Paris 2023 air show. Uh, yeah, I, I think it does. It, it was also the greatest air show um, in 2022 last year, being that there were also about three or four other air shows that were hosted in 2022, but none of them could get to the standard of the AAD 2022. So I'm also looking forward to the AAD 2024. Uh, it's one that I'm definitely we have to attend because. What I like about it, um, sorry, what I like about the AAD is the fact that it comes uh, in the form, you know, of um, of an educational exhibition. That's what they do. Like they host the A show from Monday to Sunday. So you, you find that from Mondays to Fridays, um, it's a normal day to day ex exhibition where in different companies, different airlines, different organizations attend the exhibitions. Um, and different people come from various areas to see what these different companies offer, what they're doing, uh, what business they're venturing into, new developments, you know, stuff like that. And then you get to learn a lot more about the aviation industry and what is going on within the industry uh, besides the airlines, you know, and piloting and everything. So it's really, really amazing and very, very educational. And then on Saturday, that's when they wrap up the, ex the exhibition. Um, so they do some form of uh, of an air show but it's not really 
the real air show. So it's more like a practice session to showcase what they're going to do the following day. And then the air show uh, is then presented on a Sunday. So yeah, it's one that I really, really have to attend. And I hope some of you will be able to make it and attend the AAD 2024. But besides that, 2023 has been a great year. It has been an amazing year. Um, I really, really appreciate those people who organize air shows. I don't know where I would have been if it was not because of air shows. Like, <laughs> as much as I like traveling, uh, this year I've, I've been really, really busy. And um, it's all thanks to these guys that organize air shows that I've also been able to take breaks in between and attend these amazing and beautiful shows, you know, just to get fresh air and get exposed to the industry that I love so much. Um, I think that's all I have for you on this video and uh, thank you so much for tuning by. Thank you so much for watching. If you, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button uh, and please, if you're new in this channel, please subscribe, hit the bell button so that whenever I post more videos, you get the notification and you get to watch this video first. I love you so much from your boy Ronan in the Tengwe from Limpopo, South Africa to the world. I love you. Ciao. See you on the next video.